Finally, it's Friday. Look through my window and who do I see? Esmeralda, Eliani, and Violet looking at me. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. Look through my window and who do I see? Darwin, Mr. Rodriguez, looking at me. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days. There are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Excuse me, Saturday. What month are we in? November, November, November. November begins with the letter N. You got it. What sound does N make? Look. Mmm. Mmm. That's the letter N. What's what's this letter? Yes, R. What sound does it make? R. Very good. Contemos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce. Muy bien, trece. Now in English. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. It has two digits. So thirteen has down you run and one is done. And it has a three. Around and around, just like a bee. That's the way to make a three. So today is Friday, November 13th, 2020. Say it with me. Today is Friday, November 13th, 2020. And what's the weather? What's the weather? What can it be? What can it be? Does anybody know? Does anybody know? What can it be? What can it be? Oh. So, we're in the season of fall. Ay, Dios, esta, esta silla no sé qué. <coughs> Muévete, muchacha, que tú estás para moverme. What's the matter with this chair? All right. So, this is the season of fall. That's why you see pumpkins and apples. But we need to dress them appropriately to go outside. What's the weather outside? Yeah. Rain again. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is <laughs> snoring. Yes, it happens. So, how are we going to dress him? Of course, we're going to wear a rain coat and some rain boots because we need to cover ourselves from getting wet. We don't want to get wet. We need to wear a rain hat and if you don't have this gear then please carry always an umbrella. And today is rainy and cold. Today is rainy and cold. So as you know we're going to go and do this again. You have to be practicing. And I have to say, I, 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 I'm going to stop for a minute. What I saw yesterday during virtual and what I saw when Esmeralda came to school and Violet. Excuse me. And most of the students in the class for the first time, you all knew the letters of the alphabet. Not only you knew the letters, 
you shocked me with those sounds. I mean, Esmeralda knows all of the sounds. That's 26 sounds right here. Right here. 26. Um, that makes it very interesting for me because um, I've never been in this situation before. But I'll say this. If you are smart, and smart is not something you are, smart is something you get, then I'm going to have to step up my game and start teaching you other things that you should be learning. Now, that doesn't mean you don't get the same homework because you're going to continue to have that homework so that you have a fluidity of what's going on. Because once you go on vacation for Christmas, which it will be two weeks, two weeks of Christmas vacation, you will be getting a little lazy and you might not do nothing. Just play and eat and sleep, which is okay. But then that makes you fall behind and when you come back in January, it's like, wah, wah, what happened? Well, if you don't keep practicing your letters and your sounds, you do forget them. All right? So in honor to those who have made it bright and beautiful, and I'm hoping that Eliani will do it today because today's your turn, let's do the letters of foundations, the letters of the alphabet through foundations. Repeat after me. A, apple, a. B, bat, b. C, cat, k. D, dog, d. E, ed, e. F, fun, G gang H hat I itch e J jug j K kike L lamp uh M man n mm. And not mm. O octopus ah P pan P. Q U queen qua R rat er S snakes T top U up a uh. V van v W win wa X fox x. Y yellow y Z zebra z And if you practice like you did you're going to make it perfect. So now, please take out your sky letter formation board, and we're going to practice and practice and practice. So I'm going to move my pointer, and I'll put the foundation's alphabet letters around here. Oops, it fell down. Don't worry, I'll get it later. I'm taking my dry erase marker out of my pencil box. And I'm going to start with the letter of this week, which is the letter L. You start on the sky, come down to the grass. Right there on the grass, you make a turn on the line. And that's the letter L. Excuse me, you know, something is popping here. Something hopping. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter with you? What's over here? You don't know. Something happened. Anyway. 
and you go right there on the line of the grass across. The lower L is you start on the sky, come down to the grass. And that's it. That's the letter L. The letter T, you start on the sky, come down to the grass, pick your marker up, and go across the skyline. The sky. The lowercase t, you start on the sky, come down to the grass, pick your marker up, and go across the airplane line. That's the airplane line. Keep practicing your letters. We have a lot to do next week. Next week, we'll be talking about what, what are things that are made that come from, from trees. And we're talking about wood. When we take the tree and we peel off the skin, it becomes wood. So what is made of wood or from the tree that we have today? Um, I have made an activity for you. And I'm hoping that you get a chance to receive it and you'll be able to cut it and then put it where it goes. Because I scanned it. Yeah, I learned how to scan, scan, right on my printer, okay? I also did for the food that grows on trees. So there are foods that do grow on trees, and we pick it and we eat it, right? So those are the things that you need to start thinking what we're going to be doing next week. We're going to have a taste of different apples for you to taste from. And um, that's for those who are in person. Whoever, whoever is at home is going to be a little harder to get to you with all that. You can, if you do, we have another day, we're going to be doing citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruits. If you're interested in that, you can do that at home as well. Um, but the reality is that everything that we're exposing you to is for you to be better. So there is an activity that you're going to be cutting some of those foods and you're going to put where it goes on trees. And those that don't go on trees go on the other one. We will be working a little quick because remember, Wednesday is the 50th day of school, which means we're going to be dressing back from the 50s. Yes, if you're a girl, back in the 50s, you were wearing poodle skirts, which is a skirt that's kind of like very open, and it had a poodle dog on it. They used to wear some very fancy shoes, and those shoes are black and white. Um, they used to wear their hair in a ponytail, like some of you do, like a round ponytail in the back. And the boys would dress, one of the options is to dress with um, Converse sneakers. Others were wearing jeans and some black boots and leather jacket, which was black, and uh, a white t-shirt under. And that's what you can wear as well. If you need ideas or if you don't know what I'm talking about, you say, Mommy, I don't know what they're talking about. So then I will send you a picture of what we did two years ago so that you can see what we did. It was awesome. It was really good. So that's for Wednesday. Wednesday the 18th of November. So I'm leaving because now it's time for you to listen to a story and to keep on doing your work because smart is not something you are. Smart is something you get, okay?